Hey Cam Fam, it's Monica here from My Big Camera. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get rid of those pesky blanket wrinkles in Photoshop without affecting the texture of the blanket that you're using. Ideally, you would want to avoid having wrinkles in your fabric in the first place by stretching out as much as possible, but sometimes it's unavoidable, especially if you have a baby that's moving around a lot and grabbing at the fabric like in this photo here. But don't be afraid if you do, because this technique is really easy and effective. If you're new here, we create tutorials on posing, editing, lighting, as well as prop DIYs. So if you're a child photographer, you might want to consider subscribing for more content like this. Make sure to hit that bell icon too, so that you're notified every time we release a new video. Okay, so let's get into it. Here we are in Photoshop and I have my image open here. For the record, I am using Photoshop CC. This image is completely unedited. You can see that she was grabbing at the blanket here, so there are some wrinkles in the fabric that I would like to get rid of. There are some fine lines in the fabric that I want to preserve as part of the texture, and if I was to just use the clone stamp tool or healing tools, the texture of the fabric would get distorted, especially around the edges, and you'd probably be able to tell where I try to remove the wrinkles. So in order to get rid of the wrinkles, we are going to use the frequency separation technique. We already have a video on our channel on how to use frequency separation for editing skin texture and discoloration. In that video, I actually show you how to create a Photoshop action from scratch, so I'm not going to do that in this video. If you want to find out how to do that, I will link the video up in the cards. For this video, I'm just going to use our frequency separation action. This action is available for free to download in our Photoshop action pack. I will have the link to where you can download the action pack for free down in the description box below. This action should work for any beanbag image, but if you find that you need to tweak the blur layer, I recommend checking out the other video that I mentioned so that you can create the action from scratch yourself. What's so great about this technique is that you can actually edit the colors without affecting the textures in the image and vice versa. So that's what we will be doing here. We're going to edit out the brighter areas and darker areas of the blanket caused by the light hitting the wrinkled areas differently from the rest of the blanket. Hopefully that makes sense. Basically the wrinkles cause discolored areas in the blanket because of the shadows and highlights of those wrinkles. So to start off, I'm going to run the frequency separation action by pressing the little play button in the action menu. You can see the two layers that the action creates here. It creates a texture layer and a colors layer. The two layers are independent but still work together to create the final result. We are mostly going to be working with the colors layer for the blanket wrinkles. You can see that the action creates masks on each layer as well as on the entire action as a whole. So you always have the option of painting back any areas that you don't want the action applied to. Select the colors layer by clicking it in your layers panel. I'm going to mostly use the patch tool as well as the clone stamp tool. Select the patch tool. Then what you're going to do is select around any shadow or highlight area of the blanket that you want to get rid of by clicking and dragging your mouse around the area to create a selection. Then move the selection over to a smooth part of the blanket. What this essentially does is replace the affected area with another area. You can see that the color of the area evened out but you can still see the lines in the texture of the blanket. That's what I want. I want it to look natural and to not lose the texture in the blanket when I'm editing. If you find that the patch selection tool doesn't work for an area, just click the undo button and try using the clone stamp tool instead. I have the opacity set to 30% and I have my brush set to 300 pixel size and 0% hardness. To use this tool, you would hold down the Alt key while left clicking with your mouse to select a smooth area and then release the Alt key and left click on the area that you would like to fix. Keep doing that a few more times until you get the effect that you want. If you accidentally get it on the baby's skin, you can easily mask that out by painting back the details using the layer mask. If there are some textured areas of the blanket that you would like to fix, you can click on the textures layer to select the layer in your layer panel. Then use the spot healing tool to heal out any areas. To use the spot healing tool, you would just lift click with your mouse and then hold and drag over the area that you would like to fix. 
Then just keep repeating the process on the colors layer and if you need to on the textures layer as well until you're happy with the result. Here you can see a quick before and after of what I've done so far. When you're finished you can flatten all of your layers. Here's the final before and after of the blanket edit. You can see that the texture of the blanket is preserved but the wrinkles are all gone. It really is that easy but again if you can avoid the extra editing try to make sure you're using stretchy fabrics and that you stretch your fabric out as much as possible. It will make your life a whole lot easier. Well that's it. I hope that you found this video helpful and I hope that you're able to try this technique on some of your images. If you'd like to check out more of our editing tutorials, I will leave a link to our editing playlist up in the cards. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps us determine what types of videos you would want to see. Make sure that you're also subscribed to our channel and that you hit that bell icon to be notified every time we release a video. For the frequency separation action, I will again leave the link for where you can download that down in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching, bye for now, and remember, keep creating.